Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a beautiful guest all the way in Washington, D.C. Her name is Tiffany. She's an incredible musician, and she's just experienced an amazing 21-day water fast. She reached out to me. I think she lost about 21 or 25 pounds and said it was overall an awesome experience. So we're going to ask everything, the good, the bad, find out what happened. I'm so excited to hear about water fasting. So let's hop into it. Hey, Tiffany, how are you? Hey, I'm good, Jillian. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, so a 21-day water fast. What led you to do this? Well, um, I started, I don't even know how I got into the whole subject of raw foods, but I started like researching different things, just cleansing techniques. Um, always been into detoxing and learning yeah. more. Um, so I found you on YouTube. I found um, other people. I found another channel called uh, A Healthy Alternative. Um, they're like water fasting experts. Um, I found, uh, I don't know if it was on your channel or just finding him by accident. I found Lauren Lockman, I think his name is. Oh, I've had him on too before. He's in Costa Rica, right? Doing the water fasting. Uh, yeah. 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 He's awesome. And I learned a lot just watching him. Um, I ran it. I saw on TikTok, uh, Bobby Smith. I saw his watermelon. <laughs> I love <laughs> Bobby. Bobby's a regular on the channel. Bobby's amazing. Yeah, he is. So, you know, I was just like um, researching a lot about detoxing and I found out about the mono fruit cleanses. And then um, I've already done a lot of juice cleanses um, as far as not a lot, but just like frequent seven day juice cleanses. Um, I was using a different juicer. Um, now, thanks to you, I'm tuned into Nama. I got a Nama oh. CT now. <laughs> it's the best so, juicer. If you guys want to save on a Nama, I'll put a code down below so you guys can save 10%, which is a lot. Best juicer ever. That's awesome. Okay. And yeah, I want to talk in a bit too about your juice cleansing experiences. Okay. Yeah. So um, being kind of more used to that, I said, I want to do something drastic, something that's really going to change me, something that's going to reset my body before I try to do more raw foods. Because that was really the reason I wanted to do a water fast was to reset everything and get ready to get into a raw foods journey. Um, not trying to be perfect, but maybe just more like 80, 90 percent of my nutrition could be raw foods. And I knew it would take something like a deep cleanse because, you know, you all, we all have our cravings and things like that. And I've always eating relatively healthy, but still I knew I had like certain habits like Starbucks. That was a big yeah. one. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> yeah. And even throughout all the juice detoxes, which I said, like they weren't long, they were like seven days long. Um, I, you know, still would, you know, have my little lattes, my, my tea lattes and things like that. So I said, I need something that I've never done before. And um, I've done, I've tried a four day juice, clean, uh, I'm sorry, a four day water fast um, before a magazine photo shoot I had. Wow. And I thought I was gonna, like pass out. It was the hardest thing. And I, one time one of my friends did a seven day water fast and I said, I want to do it with you. It was the, I struggled. So I'm like, how will I do a 21 day? So I kept researching like on YouTube, reading more about it, listening to more about it. Um, and I learned about, you're supposed to do what's called a prep before mm. water fast and that's what helps you get through the whole thing and the guys at the healthy alternative channel were talking about that they give out a prep guide it's like a seven day prep guide and it just teaches you how to get your body ready for a 21 day water fast and me not knowing what to expect i did it for 14 days instead of two, instead of seven days i'm like i don't know what to expect so yeah. Yeah, finally like you know i planned it out and i know even from watching lauren um his videos and how he talks about it you're supposed to be resting and i'm like i'm a musician how's that gonna work <laughs> you know i'm always doing shows and it just so happens i picked the busiest month march to do a water fast i didn't even see it coming i'm like oh march should be pretty smooth and before i knew it all these dates were coming in can you do this i performed 22 times in the Stop. month of march on the water fast. Yeah, this is crazy because I, this isn't something I've never done. I, you know, I'm fully raw vegan and I've dabbled in cleansing, which I love. And I've always been interested about a water fast, but I've never done it. And I've always thought, okay, you're going to have to like lay on the couch. I have two young kids. I don't think I can do it. But I've interviewed a few people that are like, no, I was out doing like everything. So that's crazy to me. It boggles my mind. Wow. 22 yeah. shows. Look at you. It's Whoa. Not too, did you I'm still like feel like energized enough or did you feel like, I don't know if I can make it through this show? Well, the shows on the show days, I was fine. You know, sometimes I would leave the house a little tired. So my energy was up and down like the first week of the fast. But after a while, um, I was fine. I was shocked. I think even like in the second week, I'm like, I'm driving and talking to people and I haven't eaten in like two weeks. <laughs> you know, it wow. just you see that your body really kicks into a different gear. So I had no hunger through the whole 21 days. 
the only thing was I missed I missed the social aspect of eating. Um, I'm more introverted, but I like to be social when I'm social, you know. So yeah. I miss going to lunch and things like that. But even on a lot of shows, you know, they have dinner or they have snacks after, or they'll say, hey, everybody get pizza, get chips, you know. Not that I always reach for those things, but yeah. if, um, if I haven't had it in a long time, okay, why not? But not during the fast. So I'm performing and putting out all this energy. And I'm like, how is this happening? I wasn't ready to collapse. I was energized, you know, um, I, and it's another thing that a lot of people talk about is uh, fasting insomnia. I had none of that, maybe because I was so busy, but I slept. I'm going to guess you probably slept better than you've ever slept in your life. I did. I really did. I really did. I slept better. And I've always been a pretty good sleeper. My mom always trained me to sleep, get enough sleep, you know, go to bed. Even if I go to bed late, you know, I try to get enough hours of sleep in the day. Um, and it helps to even with traveling a lot because sometimes you can't sleep you're in airports and things like that but um through the fast you know i was stationary um as far as in town but i was just performing a lot and i slept like a baby like there was no and how, did you need less sleep i'm gonna guess maybe or no no but i didn't struggle to get up because sometimes i'm a snoozer i'll hit snooze a lot but i didn't do that a lot so wow. um yeah, but I mean, I was shocked. My skin cleared up. Um, I do. I, well, I had I'm not sure I had eczema growing up and even into adulthood, but that started to clear up at first in the first week. I had some flares, you know, and I'm like, I, from what I heard in all the information I was gathering before I even tried the fast, I heard that you will get stuff like that. Like if you have eczema or any other type of thing, you might see it flare before it goes away. Mm -hmm. So um, and even towards the end of the of the fast, it was still flaring a little bit and then it completely went away. Wow. So, wow. You know, so it was really it was a lot to dreams. And speaking of sleep, mm. dreams were like very vivid. It was almost like I would wake up like, was that really a dream or, you know, that's like when were... I do a juice cleanse, that's my favorite part. Like the dreams, how clear they are and how your mind feels when you fall asleep. Just so clear. Like when I do a juice fast, I feel like I'm in a state of meditation all the time. Like my mind is so clear. Is that kind of how you felt like your thoughts yes. really quiet, quieted down? Right. I, I felt very clear headed. Um, very just like, I don't know, focused and yeah, I had no brain fog or anything like that. So it was, it was amazing. And you know what, one of my huge takeaways um, from the water fast was that I kicked all my cravings. I did not see that coming. Like I deleted my Starbucks app. I unsubscribed from all the evils. Like I kicked a lot of craving, but it's weird because, you know, we all try to stay away from certain things for a period of time. If you know, it's not good for you, but for me, it's not even a temptation now um wow, I even, see so it kind of impacted your life after the fast then which is kind of what you want too right if you're gonna do right. it maybe. yeah exactly definitely definitely and i i remember before the fast started i said okay i'm going in this you know full throttle but i know um you know i'll probably like want a bag of chips later or something some type of treat i haven't had anything processed even so i've finished the fast um, over a week ago and i haven't had anything processed so i've been wow raw foods and even in the time period i might have had two cooked meals in the i think it's been 11 or 12 days since i've stopped the fast so yeah. i feel like i'm still kind of detoxing in a way yeah, yeah. amazing and were there any i remember once way back a friend of mine she did a water fast and she did i think 21 days she was gonna go longer but then she literally said she felt like she was gonna die on like the 21st day like literally she was like it scared me like i had to stop so did you have like any of those moments where you're like, oh, maybe this is like dangerous. I should stop or any bad moments where you felt like you're going to faint or like anything or it was all like pretty positive. It was all pretty positive. Um, I had a couple moments where my energy was really, really, really low. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, wow, I wonder if that means my blood sugar levels are dropping. But I didn't get scared because I think I made sure that I saturated myself with so much information beforehand so that I would expect the detox symptoms that or I would know certain things were detox symptoms like low energy or um, and even by the 21st day, I was, I didn't feel like I was going to, I was just kind of tired, like, okay, I want to eat something, you know, yeah. but I wasn't like, I still was not hungry. And I only told a few friends that I was doing it and they were like, how are you not hungry? And I'm, 
I was yeah, still- wow. It's interesting that that happens. Yeah. You hear that. Wow. It must be kind of simple and easy, you know, cause eating, like I love, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love eating and I eat a lot of food, but it takes up a lot of time. Like you save time. Yeah. It's just so simple doing a water right. fast and it's so cheap. Right. Cause I know like so <laughs> fasting, I feast, I drink a lot. It does cost a lot. So that's really inexpensive too. And was there was there like a story that inspired you? Did you see like a couple certain um, stories where you're like, wow, or just like overall hearing Lauren and different people talk? I think overall hearing a lot of people different, a lot of different people talk um, between you and just talking about the benefits of a raw food journey. And, you know, um, Lauren, um, like the uh, oh, every, everybody, I think Bobby's story inspired me too. I might, I didn't have the same things he had going on That's before. Right. Yeah. But you know, it's just still so inspiring to see everybody's, you know, life change. And I was just thinking about, oh, uh, uh, Shane Sterling. I watched yeah. a lot of his videos too. He looks you know, good, right? You can't deny it, great. you know, love him or hate him. Cause I know he has his haters too. <laughs> like you can't <laughs> deny it. And I'm so scared. you lost 25 pounds. How does that, how did that feel? And did you expect to lose that much weight? I, di I didn't really expect to lose that much weight. I mean, I didn't know what to expect either. So, but um, I was, the first week it was a little discouraging because I didn't see any changes. I kept looking in the mirror like I look the same, I look the same. <laughs> You know? But after that first week into the second week, that's when the weight started dropping off. And I didn't get on the scale again until I actually saw something different. Like, you know, I saw my legs starting to slim a little bit, my arms and everything. And I said, OK, let me check. And I was like down like over 10 pounds. And then wow. I checked. In, and then by the end of the fast, I checked one more time. And I'm like, oh, I lost 25 pounds. So, wow. yeah, that first week was a little discouraging, but I knew I was like, let me just trust the process. It's not a race. You know, it's something I never did before. Let me just see what happens, you know? Yeah. So, and yeah. were there any like spiritual changes or any life changes or like, you know, I feel like it's such a, was it such a spiritual experience too? I would think or no. Well, yeah, I, I think it really was. I'm always trying to be in tune spiritually anyway. So, but I think it was just more, a lot of manifestation, manifestation ideas were coming to me. Like, let me write that down. I want to manifest that. Mm. Um, different, you know, prayers would come to me like, oh, you know, just different things just started like coming very clearly to me. Um, yeah. So that was definitely an experience, you know, a lot of wow. confirmation do the dreams and yeah, and I love all that. I always feel like I manifest more on like my juice cleansing and things like that. And did you have a protocol? Like, did you just set it yourself? Or I know with people like Lauren Lockman, I forget what his water fasting place is called in Costa Rica. Uh, but there's him and there's a couple other, there's a couple other, what's it called? True, what's it called? There's True North in California. And then what's his called? I forget. Is it Tanglewood? I'm Tanglewood, sure. I think. Yeah. So I know that they like, you know, cause I think it's important if you're going to do it longer than like a day or two, maybe you look into these places, get them to like supervise you. And I think they do have like zoom supervision. Everybody always, I think be careful, obviously doing a water fast or dry fast. I think it's different than a fruit fast or a juice fast. I don't know. I haven't personally done it, but do, I do hear some stories. So always be careful. Like, you know, look into these places where they can supervise you properly, where they have the knowledge, have the experience, stay safe. But yeah, you didn't use one of those people you did on your own. How did you know what to do? Like, what kind of water do we drink? Distilled, spring? I think yeah. it like must really matter, all these things. It does. It does. And I think I followed most of the protocol from the Healthy Alternative channel. There's a guy named uh, Chris James, and mm -hmm. he has a brother named Stephen Michael. So um, I actually reached out to one of them, and I said, hey, I'm going to do the 21-day water fast. And they have a program where you can actually join in and sign up and have coaching ongoing. Oh, good. But I, signed, I, I saturated myself with so much information. I just said, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start in March. I'm going to keep you posted. So I did know, you know, if I ran into any hiccups, I could maybe reach out to them. And I'm not like one of those, you know, tough people where I'm like, oh, I'm not going to stop if, if it seems like it's getting deadly or anything. So I knew just to monitor myself, see how I'm feeling. Um, but the protocol I basically followed was just doing the prep work. So the prep work, um, like I said, I did two weeks instead of seven days, but it's mainly, it starts you off, like, of course, cutting out anything processed, you know, anything. And then that's for like the first few days, well, the whole week, but the first few days, that's what you're focusing on. And then you're kind of weaning down to like one meal a day. Um, I think it's day six and seven, you're just juicing. So day six, you can do any type of juice, but day seven, you're doing just green juice. And then day eight, wow. you start yeah so i what i did though from learning um i did a lot of watermelon meals so i did a lot of watermelon that first week i might have had like a cooked meal i think maybe twice that first week but it was just still within the guidelines 
And the second week that I took upon myself to do, just to make sure I was extra prepared, I did more watermelon because I know watermelon is so hydrating for you. Yeah. I was like, let me just, just do anything I can think to do. So I just did that the whole second week. And then yeah. I started fast and it was a smooth transition. It was a very smooth transition. I did. I was surprised at not having like a lot of hiccups and detox symptoms and things like that. So yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> and so like how much water, because how much water did you drink in a day? And do you stop at a certain time? And like what type of water? So they recommend distilled water, but I didn't do distilled water. I did spring water, okay. which was um, a little against the grain. Because I know um, the guys at that channel, they preach distilled water. Distilled? Or, um, really? Huh. Yeah, yeah. I remember trying, um, just out of just trying it out, I tried a, a gallon of distilled water one day, not during the fast, like maybe... Yeah or two ago I just didn't feel good after that mm -hmm. so I'm like maybe I won't do that for the water fast you know I'll yeah. Just do water. so yeah I just bought bottles of spring water from the store from the grocery store um I didn't hit the gallon mark every day I've always struggled with getting a gallon of water in a day so I didn't hit the gallon mark I might have done like 80 ounces 70 ounces 80 ounces a day um no particular schedule I made sure I had water sitting by my bedside in the morning so I would always drink some that was one thing I noticed in the mornings I would have a really dry mouth like a dry mm -hmm. taste mouth so I had that waiting for me and the other thing was I wasn't flying to the bathroom through the whole 21 mm -hmm. either oh. <laughs> it's like this is interesting interesting and I think people have to be careful not drinking too much water right am I wrong like they can't just flood non-stop water you can flush out electrolytes and like that could be dangerous right Right. Very, uh, you're supposed to sip it through. And mm -hmm. I think it's more than eight ounces an hour you're supposed to sip. So I even had little timers on my phone because I could get really busy. And I'm like, it'll just say sip water and it'll just go off every hour. Were you any know? of the people around you like, you're just nuts, Tiffany, what are you doing? Or no, were they supportive? <laughs> <laughs> well, they were support I only told the ones that I knew would be supportive. And smart, not like, smart <laughs> decision. Yeah, because, you know, some people, they mean well, but they're like, no, you're going to, you're going to, you know, fly away. No, don't do that. Or how, where are you going to get your protein? I can't tell yeah. you. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that he's talking about wanting to go into, you know, more plant-based foods and raw foods. Where are you going to get your protein? What about meat? And I'm like, meat, that's recycled protein. I mean, yeah. I watched enough, you know, documentaries to know that. So, yeah. And I'm great. I'm so glad it's had an impact on your life, like after the fast. And so, how did you break it? Because I think that's really important. After 21 days of no food, I think you have to probably be careful how you break it. Very careful. Yeah, I um, I broke it with watermelon again. I figured mm -hmm. that was the safest way to go. And they do have a, a refeeding process where it's like a five day refeed. I did mess myself up a little bit. Um, when I, and it was a lesson for me that, you know, everybody's body is different. By day five, you're supposed to be able to eat heavier foods like pasta and things like that. I had two salads in that day and it was just too much for on my day body. five after. Wow. Five. Wow. Yeah. I said, okay, I know, you know, take my time. So I just, you know, kind of clear my body out that next day and just kind of drink more water. I didn't start eating um, any fruit until like later, like three, 4 PM. And just, and by the end of the next day, I felt much better. And I said, okay, more fruit. And I've been just, even just trying different juices. One juice I really love that I've been trying is apple juice with ginger. Mm. So I've been, it tastes so good. Like, so I'm just exploring. I want to learn more recipes and things like that. But. Yeah. And so you've done some juice cleanses too, right? A few one week juice cleanses. How have those impacted your life? And what were those experiences like? Those are really cool. Um, I think for me by day three is when I felt like I really kicked in the gear. And it's like every time I do a seven day juice cleanse. Me too. By like day three or four, it just really starts to feel good. Right. That's when you start to feel like in a different mode, you know. And it's been good. I usually do green juice in the daytime when I do those seven days and then like a beet based juice in the evenings, you know. Um, but one thing I learned from you is that you have to drink a lot to mm -hmm. not get those hunger pains and stuff on a juice feast. So that's something out something else I implemented as well. But they've yeah. been pretty good, you know. Um, and the one the biggest thing for me with the juice cleanses is I didn't know how to not regain whatever weight loss or body fat loss that I would acquire during the juice fast until I found out about the raw foods. And I'm like, wow. So even to this day, I haven't put on any pounds that I lost from the water fast. Wow. <laughs> and do you feel has like eating more raw been enjoyable and beneficial to you? And you've noticed changes with that? Like that's been a big thing in your life as well? 
Yeah, big time. I feel light and clean. Like it's a different feeling. Um, and like I said, I had like two cooked meals and the one cooked meal I had was uh, some egg whites and I felt so dry. I was like, wow, I feel the difference from yeah. one meal. I was like, I can't wait till this passes through, <laughs> you know. It's such so, a difference. It's crazy. Same with me as someone who eats like raw all the time. If I have something cooked, I notice a big difference. Like mainly I feel so dehydrated. I need my, way more water and just everything feels different. Well, my viewers have some questions for you. I put in my Instagram story that you did the water fast that you were coming on and yeah. they have so many questions. So I know they're super interested. Let me pull those up. Alrighty. So I'm excited to ask you those. So somebody said, okay, she said, did you drink just plain water or with salt plus some herbal teas? That's a good question. Did you do any herbal teas or anything or no? No, I didn't do any herbal teas. I wanted to. Um, and that's when I realized that that whole Starbucks habit was just a habit. So I remember pulling into Starbucks one day because I'm like, what can I get? <laughs> you know, and I just I pulled up and I said, can I have a brew tea? No sweetener, no additives, nothing, just plain brew tea. Got it. And I just poured it out. I took a sip and poured it out because it was like, why? I don't need it. So I didn't do any brew teas at all. Um, no salt. I've heard a lot of negative things about salt. No, I don't know with that. I know I, I interviewed somebody who did a juice fast and he said to get hydrated, he felt better putting a little bit of salt in water, but I don't know about that. I, I don't know. Like I let us know in the comments if you guys know, but yeah, you didn't incorporate any salt or anything extra for electrolytes, hydration, herbs, right. nothing, just the water, right? You did? Well, I did, I did put in a uh, lemon in my water. Um, yeah. I tried lemon and some mint leaves and that was it. Cause that, oh, I think cool. that's wouldn't, you know, deter the, the water fast from that's nice. That would be nice. Some mint leaves. And so I like that. Yeah. And oh, somebody said, did you do enemas daily? Do people do enemas on water fast? I don't know. That might be too much electrolytes coming out. No, or no, it might be too much. I didn't try it. Enema. I did try enema um, way before the water fast just to see what it was like. Because again, I heard you talking about it on your channel. It was amazing. I just did it once. So yeah. um, no, during the water fast, I didn't do any enemas. I thought about maybe doing, um, I have done in the past, a colon hydrotherapy. Yeah. So I thought about doing that. Um, the most I did was I went and got a, a professional massage, which was great. You know, oh, good. Fast, you know, yeah, but... that's so nice. And somebody said, what are the signs of entering a fast? I get a bit lightheaded standing up. Wow. Well, I think that's when you don't do the prep that I learned about, because that's what I experienced that lightheadedness when I tried like a four day fast before a magazine shoot. And I felt like I was going to pass out. I was in a mall, you know, um, doing some last minute shopping and not running around, just, you know, walking around. I was like, so feeling so faint. So I think maybe the remedy to that is making sure you prep your body. You don't just eat yeah. one day jump into a water fast, maybe like wean down, do some juicing. You can do it. Get hydrated. Fast. Yeah. yeah. Like super hydrated, do a juice fast into a water fast. That's probably the easiest thing to remember to do. Makes sense. Must make it for like such a better experience versus if somebody's eating like standard American diet or something. And then they're like, tomorrow I'm going to jump right into a water fast. <laughs> Might be <laughs> not as enjoyable. Right. 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 And yeah. somebody said just, whoa. Yeah, that is whoa. 21 days. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Did I ask you how you broke it? Watermelon, right? You said, yes, yeah. Yes. Wow. And yeah. somebody said, how often do you fast? How does she prep her body? Well, we talked about that, but yeah, you fast. how often do you do like the juice fast or um, the juice fast I do maybe uh, every other month. So maybe every two months mm -hmm. or if I have a special event coming up, like a big show and I got to put on something, I want to make sure I'm as close to perfection as I can get out doing yeah. juice fast for maybe a week or two. But yeah, uh, but I do do intermittent fasting. So yeah. I do intermittent fasting is life changing, right? It's, I, really... I feel like my time when I stop eating, when I have a big meal and stop eating around three o'clock, that's yeah. the ideal or like four or five at the latest. But when I stop at three, I feel so good when I wake up the next day. Right. You Because your digestion is much better. You feel cleaner, you know, so I it's get a big it. difference. It really is. And somebody said, how did you get passed through the food cravings? Yeah, I guess it sounds like preparing made such a big difference for you, though. But any yeah. tips for somebody for that or what worked for you? Um, well, it just just stick to it. I mean, one thing is, you know, if you get emails with coupons for your favorite food places and things, just delete those unsubscribe for a while. That definitely helps because you're going to still see these places. So mm -hmm. don't go to events that, you know, you're, if you're the type to get tempted, just don't go, you know, maybe send a gift as if it's a party of some sort. Um, for me, I was fine being around food without being tempted to eat it, but that's not everybody. So um, yeah, with the cravings, you know, um, just don't put yourself in a 
situation where you're going to be around it or just do tempt it, you know? So, yeah. Good tips yeah. for sure. And somebody said, can you do strength training and or run? What's what to watch out for that could interrupt the fast? Well, um, yeah, you can do strength training. I have a personal trainer and it's funny. I did not tell him that I was doing a water fast because I'm like, Oh, he's not going to go. And he's, he's into juice fasting, but uh, you know, sometimes water, just the sound of water fasting just strikes a nerve with people. So I'm like, I don't know. I'll tell him after. I love <laughs> so, it. <laughs> <laughs> I did work out with him and do strength training. I was fine. I think the biggest thing for me was making sure I still drink a lot of water during the workout. So if you're going to do strength training, make sure you're drinking before and after your workouts, you know, and during as well. Mm -hmm. Your energy because I even felt my energy pick up more at the more water I drink during the workouts. Hmm. So, wow, yeah. interesting. And somebody said, Does she drink water during the night or only during the day? I think you did you drink a bit at night? Not really, no, just mainly during the day out of fear that I was going to have to run up, get up, and go to the bathroom all night. So, yeah. I would cut off my water around like eight o'clock, which is kind of late. But if I know if I'm, if I'm going to bed at 11, it was enough time where, you know, I didn't disrupt my sleep. So, mm -hmm. and how somebody said, how did you do that? How did you mentally pass the fourth day? See, this person knows what's up. Cause usually around like three, four or five, like you start to feel really good. So I guess it's just a matter of getting through like that final little stretch there, but it sounds like for you, I don't know. What would you say about that? I would say, I, you know, that prep made it like mm -hmm. a world of difference. It really did. Cause like, like I said before, when I tried the other fast, the other water fast without any prep, any knowledge of it, it was like the worst thing in the world. It was like, I'm not going to make it. So really, once you get past, uh, once you do the prep and once you get into day one and day two, you really, if your mind is made up to do it, you'll get through it with no problem. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's what a lot of the questions actually are. How can I make it th through the past three days? I hit a wall after two, three days, any tips how to keep going? So yeah, it sounds like the prep would be your number one tip, right? For any yeah. other advice for how people can keep going? Cause people seem to really struggle in those first few days, which makes sense. Yeah. Well, I would say too, a tip that really helped me is so small, but I set my alarms to make sure I drank water because, mm -hmm. you know, you can get so busy, even if you're home, you could just get into so many different things and you'll forget to keep sipping. So if you just look at drinking the water as not gulping it down, you're just mm -hmm. sipping it throughout the hours. It'll help you. It, and you'll be surprised how much you'll actually drink. I even sometimes got those little, uh, Deer Park eight ounce packs of water where it's not yeah. a big gallon, but because they're in eight ounce uh, bottles. So yeah. I would just one an hour, you know, set my alarm because I get so busy. So I'm like, I know I'll forget even though it's sitting right there. <laughs> For you sure. Know, so, yeah. So that's a big, yeah. And somebody said, did you have any bowel movements? That's a good question. That's one I didn't think of. Great question. Great question. You know, I think the only reason I didn't have any during the fast was because of that long prep week um, and two weeks before. So I think my last bowel movement was like the second day of the water fast. And then that was it. Wow. And another heads up for people, even after the water fast ended, uh, I didn't have a bowel movement until like day four or five. And that was surprising. Yeah. Cause I, and I broke it with watermelon, but I kept drinking juice and watermelon. So yeah, it took a while. It wasn't until I ate salads, you know, that, that I started to, you know, have that bowel movement, but yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. And what did you do to pass the time? Someone asked. Oh, well, I'm so busy. So it was nothing to pass. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I did try to do was, um, if I was home was like catch up on a show that someone's always said to watch, you know, on Netflix and I never have time to watch shows and things like that. So I would catch up on little things like that. But for oh. the most part, I was working, you know. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah. And okay, this is a good question too. How does it compare to a juice cleanse? Because you've done both. So you can give us some insight. And somebody and they said the same person asked, do you feel a water fast is worth doing? Okay, I'll say the second question first is definitely worth doing. I think it's it's a deeper cleanse. I felt like it was, a, I don't know how to really articulate how deeper it was, but it was a deeper cleanse. Um, I think the juice fasting really prepped me to be able to do a water fast. So I think if you've never done a juice fast and you want to do a water fast, do some juice fast first, you know, at yeah. least three to seven days before you embark on a water fast. Even if you're going to do like say a three day water fast, it's still good to prep first, no matter how long it doesn't have to be 21 days, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, there was a big difference, you know, of juicing. It was, 
I mean, it's easier to me because you're, you're literally drinking great tasting juice, you know? Yeah. So it's yeah. easy. If you're drinking a lot, it's easy. It's fun. It's not a big deal. I say, I would say the most thing is like putting in the work to make the juices, you know? Right. That yeah. Part, which that. in this case, you didn't have to do that. And what would you say with the water fast has been like the best part? Yeah. The, the water fast, it's the, it's the mind shift for me because you're not thinking about any, I'm walking past my kitchen every day. You know, the only thing I'm going in there for is water. So um, it's a different mental state as well, because you're literally just in a different mode. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's, it's a, it's definitely a polar opposite difference as far as juice fasting and water fasting. I think it's, they're both definitely worth it. Um, but I think juicing is a, a great prelude to water fasting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good uh, point. Amazing. Well, do you think there's anything that we missed that you still want to share about your experience? I, I don't, I don't think so, but I could, uh, is anybody else asking any other questions that I No, forgot? that was most of them. Cause we did have a lot more questions, but I covered them already. So I didn't want okay. to double ask them, but mm -hmm. are also like any advice if somebody wants to start this, like Lauren Lockman, you were following and that other page you were saying, so I guess they could check those out, but any other tips or advice or anything at all? Um, I would say definitely when it's something that you want to do and it's not something that's very popular or you don't think it's going to be favored, don't share it with everybody. Just do it. Make sure you take all the right uh, precautions, get as much information as you can. And, you know, I kept like watching all these different, you know, documentaries on water fasting. I watched a lot of your videos and Lauren Lockman's and and I even, you know, I was like, oh, wow, I would love to go down to Costa Rica and and do his. It's very expensive. So I'm like, OK, maybe not. Maybe I'll do it at home, you know, but I just saturate just saturate yourself with as much information as you can, you know, yeah. before you embark on it. and just do it, you know, um, and you'll shock yourself. You know, I shocked myself. I'm proud of myself. I hope I made God proud, you know. I'm I, sure. I really <laughs> and you probably felt closer to God, right? Did you feel more closer yeah. to like God and the universe and stuff on the, on the fast? Cause what a yeah. fast. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So yeah, my advice to everyone is just, you know, don't always follow the masses, you know, just do what you feel you want to do for you. If you don't feel like you're going to have a lot of support, just do it, you know, share afterwards. People will be more, you know, apt to get on the bandwagon if they see the results versus what you say you're going to do, you know, mm -hmm. so. I love yeah. that. Good advice. <laughs> well, you're amazing. And I love your hair and you're just glowing. You're so sweet. And I love your attitude. And you're so humble and such an amazing musician. So I'll link your Instagram and everything down below. And yeah, I hope you guys as the viewers enjoyed this video. I hope it added some value. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you don't already. I will put the interview with Lauren Lockman, who we were talking about on the screen right now, and another awesome podcast as well. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>